Well, hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> We're all here online, and it's very nice to see you all tuning in. We've got some Rockies from all over the Eastern region, and I'm going to interview them because, you know, you've uh, heard from us rock choir leaders, but we want to hear from you Rockies, what your experience has been like. So uh, what we're going to do is introduce ourselves. We'll start off with Amanda. Hi, I'm, I'm Amanda, and I've been in rock choir since January last year. I'm in Adam's Sudbury Morning Rock Choir. We meet at the Key Theatre. What's your favourite rock choir song ever? It's either Raw or This Is Me. Every time I sing that, I'm like, yeah, come on. Yeah, so. <laughs> this is a great introduction. We've got to add our favourite song now to our introduction. So uh, going over to Sharon. Hi, I'm Sharon. Um, I come from Owsbury and I go to Owsbury Evening Choir. Um, I started in September 2018, so that's two years nearly. Um, I started off with Dave and now it's Liga. Um, it's just brilliant. I love it. Um, and my favourite song, I think, is Footloose, but I actually love now, I love the new songs we learn, and um, I just love Bridge Over Troubled Water. It just yeah. makes me cry, I can't see it. it so everyone's cry. agreeing with you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Jen over there. Hi, I'm Jen. Um, I'm from Saffron Walden Choir, and Dan's our leader. Um, I've been with Rock Choir um, since September 2018 as well. Um, I think the first song that we did was Footloose and uh, my favourite. Um, I really like Shut Up and Dance and the We Are the Champions that we've done this term as well. So I think that's probably... A bit of a rocker. <laughs> and we'll go to Tracy next. Well, uh, my name's Tracy. I'm from Faken and Rock Choir. Uh, Mike Tandy is my Rock Choir leader. Um, I joined Rock Choir in the summer of 2017 and it was to help me deal with... Um, unfortunately, I'd had some a few family bereavements um, so I joined really for the well the well-being factor um, and it, I have to say um, without the Rock Choir family I think I'd be in a very different place it's been absolutely amazing um, you know to keep my spirits up and keep my mental well-being really healthy so I've really really enjoyed my time with it um, when I signed up I remember one of the first things I said was that I didn't know I had to dance as well as sing. <laughs> that was a bit of a shock, but hey, you know, you get the physical element of it as well. <laughs> One of my favourite songs has probably been um, I'm Still Standing. I really Thank you. Them. We'll go to Carol next. Hello, I'm Carol Armstrong. I'm from Krisha's Didcot Choir. Um, I've been in choir, I think it's three years. I got introduced to it by a friend, um, actually somebody I work with, and... She invited me along to the rugby because she knew I liked rugby and she just happened to be singing. And I was sat next to her and thought, oh, I could do that. So, <laughs> so I just joined Rock Choir straight away afterwards. I think my favourite song at the moment is Symphony. And what I really love about it is Signing. Yeah. It's brought such another dimension to it. Yeah. So lovely. And the harmonies are fantastic. It yeah. makes it so inclusive as well. Yeah. And I think Rock Choir is really inclusive, but that just has another dimension. It's just really positive. You're right mm. about that. Thank you, Carol. And Beverly is next. Uh, my name's Bev, and I'm in Dave Easter's Rock Choir, Northampton Morning. Um, I've been in Rock Choir for seven years, and he's just fabulous, just the same as Jess was. We were all a little bit apprehensive at first, as you are when you have a new Rock Choir leader, but we shouldn't have worried because he's done a sterling job. He really has. Um, I think my favourite song was Something Inside So Strong, Aww. particularly because Caroline came and sang that with us on the stage at the Derngate in Northampton when we did a concert for the Hope Centre. And that was so special. But I have to say that I love Bridge Over Trouble Water. It has the same effect, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Makes you excited for things to come, doesn't it? It does, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing that with us. And Rachel is next, so please introduce yourself, Rachel. Hello, I'm Rachel and I'm in Lizzie's Choir in Hitchin. And I started about just over two years ago and I was quite in a very different place then. I was on long-term sick leave and suffering from depression, very sort of quiet and everything. And a year later, I was up singing a trio in our summer concert and dancing around in glitter. Wow. So yeah. Very uh, impressed with the transformation and how and how much fun we've had and how supportive everyone around has been. It's now part of my my weekly routine, basically. So. Oh, that's fantastic! 
Um, my favourite song, I think, this is This Is Me. It kind of embodies rock choir. You can be yourself. So, Ralph and Melina, would you like to introduce yourselves together or one at a time? I think we'll do one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I'm Melina, and obviously we're both with uh, Carrie Rawlings uh, Choir at St Neards. And we joined in September 18 and are thoroughly enjoying it. I think for me, my favourites um, include Keeping the Dream Alive and from this term, Bridge Over Troubled Waters is such a, such a lovely song anyway. So uh, I'll pass you on to Ralph. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah we, we, we both joined at the same time because it was something we could do together. I've got to say, actually, the dancing was a bit of a shock, because <laughs> I, I don't dance, actually. So that was a bit of a shock, actually, but I've got used to it now, so that's all right. And uh, I think my favourite song, the same thing, is Keeping the Dream Alive. I do like Hallelujah, I must admit, but I do like mm. Bridge Over Troubled Waters as well. I think that's really great. Well, thank you. Basically, we all can't decide what our favourite song is because yeah. we like them all, yeah. don't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. But I am hearing that Bridge Over Troubled Water is a very popular one. Yes, mm -hmm. it's lovely. Um, I'm going to go back to Amanda over there and ask you what you thought of your first online rehearsal of term. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, so when I really struggled with my mental health as well and Rock Quiet is the highlight of my week. <laughs> so knowing that we were going to carry on was just such a relief and how quickly you guys got it done was mm, absolutely amazing was. and how brilliant our leader was in like it was like he was talking to us even though we were on the screen <laughs> yeah and i'd tell him like i'm chatting back to him like even though he's not there um I think you're right about that, though. I, I definitely feel like everyone's there with me in the same room. Well, Ralph, what did you think? Of I found the video resources really good. It helped you an awful lot with the songs, mm. actually. So actually, it was quite good, really, because you got a double dose, really. You've got the video resources and then you've got the live, yeah. live side. Bit. How tech savvy of you to put it on your TV. You're streaming <laughs> it on there. Um, that leads me to my next question. What did you experience that you're now so good at tech-wise that you struggled with? <laughs> At the beginning of lockdown, obviously, when we first started our choirs, um, a lot of us had never used computers in that way before. Um, no. And I feel like all of us, including <laughs> the leaders and all Rockies around the UK, have discovered this wonderful way of being so technical. And I, th I think for me, initially, it was it was sitting there while Ralph spent hours and hours trying to sort <laughs> it out. Um, <laughs> first of all, tr trying to get Zoom to work properly, you know, with the sound yeah. for the two of us together because we can't use headphones, obviously, because there's two of us. And then, then when he decided to try and get it onto, onto the television, um, there was, um, the air was blue once or twice before yeah. we actually got it working. But <laughs> We've got so much respect for the leaders, honestly. Mm, can't definitely. say how much appreciate definitely. what you've done to keep us all together and singing. Mm. And also, it's really nice to see different choir leaders as well yeah. and see yeah. where, the way out they are. But it's really been great to see all the different leaders doing their thing and how... Mm. You know how effortlessly it's all been really i can't i can't thank you all enough it's been just brilliant i've loved it oh you guys <laughs> <laughs> i was just wondering if anyone's had any interruptions when they've been trying to either rehearse online or using their video tutorials and learning their harmonies um jen have you experienced any interruptions from pets or any other kind not, not pets but when we were doing the um sending the audio off for we are the champions um i got everything set up and I did my, the recording and it was going really really well and just at the very end the ice cream van turned up outside. <laughs> <laughs> and the champions mixed with Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That had to get scrapped and restarted again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think those things were so good to have and all the video tutorials on that just to give yourself something yeah. to focus on. And obviously, as I mentioned before, because of the the reason I went for to join Rock Choir for the mental well-being of it, I was I kind of got really worried that I might have a dip in in my mental well-being. Um, and so to have the with, to not be at work as often as well, these video tutorials and the the kind of challenges that we had to do and we were asked if we wanted to take part in were just brilliant because it meant I always had something to occupy my mind with 
So um, yeah, I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. And it, and I'd never heard of Zoom before. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> <None> of us <laughs> had. <laughs> Definitely. Have you had any funny experiences while you've been trying to learn your harmony parts? <laughs> um, not really, no, but I must say that it's been fantastic. The tutorials that you've put up, you rock choir leaders have put together, they are just fabulous. They really That's are. Very kind. And I think we've learned so much from those. We really have. And we, I really do appreciate them. Great. Oh, thank they you really very much. Um, I was wondering if anyone's um, discovered anything about their choir or their voice, anything you've learned about your own singing this term. Um, actually, funnily enough, singing on my own has given me more confidence singing. I came late in life to singing and uh, as a child I was always told I couldn't sing. Mm -hmm. So um, I had uh, quite a bit of inhibition somehow uh, about singing and uh, was always concerned that I wasn't singing it right. Um, so actually wow. having, to, having to sing on my own rather than, you know, with, with my rest of my voice group around me, I think it's given me a bit more confidence. About that. Amanda, did you want to say something about that? Yeah, I was going to say I can really relate to Melina because I was, was told that I couldn't sing as well. But, but feeling part like the family of Rock Choir, I, oh. my mum was in Rock Choir before me. So she joined, I think it was 2015. And I used to go to the, all the concerts with them. And I used to, I knew all the words, I knew all the dances, I was there going for it and everyone kept saying, why don't you join? But I was too nervous and anxious. And eventually I did join. It was the best thing that I've ever did. And feeling like I belong to something, like being a Rocky is part of my identity now. Like I am a Rocky. It's and such a stress relief. It really yeah. is. And when you sing out the songs like, yeah. like This Is Me or even like, anything it really gets the emotions out it and does. me if I don't sing I get really low so that rock choir could carry on is absolutely fantastic and mm. so 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 grateful you know because I think Carol said she's got one as well yes where's Carol's mm. this is so, Molly <laughs> but mine go to all my concerts with me in the bag they've been to Abbey Road they've been to the proms you're going to make all these other Rockies jealous that don't have mascots in their choirs. I'm wondering if um, you could all tell me about the most hilarious thing that's happened during an online session. Rachel, what do you want to say? Um, so Lizzie got a new hot tub uh, during uh, lockdown and she was telling us all about it. So next rehearsal, everyone brings something inflatable with you. And then she forgot that she'd asked us and everyone turned up <laughs> with inflatable things, waving them around. And she couldn't remember why any of us wanted them. And one of the guys, Jim, had turned up in a full duck suit. And we were <laughs> dancing around. <laughs> and we were all absolutely in, in giggles. And the people that hadn't been to the previous rehearsal were like, what are you guys doing? Before, what has been the best thing for you about online choir practice? <laughs> It's been great every Tuesday morning for me to have that to look forward to. Mm -hmm. To meet up with your rock choir leader and as many of your rock choir rockies that turn up on, the, on that morning. It's been just great just to see each other yeah. and get together and sing. All right, so we can't hear each other and it's not the same as going to choir. But I can say I wouldn't have coped without it during this lockdown. I really wouldn't. It's yeah, been I'm amazing. With you. <laughs> and you're really really do say thank you to all of you rock choir leaders from the bottom of my heart because you've worked so hard oh and my goodness thank rock you. Is really really appreciate it we all it's do. not just just the sort of video tutorials and the sessions no. but i'm sure the other leaders have done the same like dan's done like you said um social nights with us he's yeah. done sort of yeah. like sing-alongs on Facebook and yeah. various other mediums as well which is especially in those couple of weeks when the before it took off online yeah. and it just kind of stopped was really a lifeline in keeping, mm -hmm. keeping the choirs together and it really sort of did do a lot to boost your spirits and, yeah. and, and so it was great for doing that as I said I'm sure the rest the rest of the leaders were as well and that's yeah that's something obviously for us as, as Rockies is, is something we'll all be really grateful for yeah definitely can't imagine. I actually can't imagine lockdown without our choirs oh my goodness let's not think about it <laughs> um I was wondering when rock choir goes back to normal again 
what are you most looking forward to? I'll ask Rachel first. Um, I think probably partly doing the performances as well. I think we, we mm. missed all, all of our end of term. We had something with the WI that we were going to do, and which all yeah. got sort of cancelled with like a week's notice. So actually be able to sing together and dance around together again, I think would be nice, and yeah. hearing other people as well because you kind of kept in contact and we're actually probably closer to some of us yeah because we messaged each other and mm -hmm. um made friends with people in different sections i'm very friendly with, with one of the ladies in the bases that i normally can only sort of see over the thing and in, in breaks where so i think we're going to recognize more people as well so yeah true we get... i know what ralph is going to say to this but i'm going to ask ralph when we do get back together and everything goes back to normal one day, hopefully, um, <laughs> what song will you be most excited to perform? Probably Bridge Over Trouble. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd say that. <laughs> Me too. I think a lot of us are, are in agreement with that. <laughs> yeah. And going back on what Rachel was saying earlier about being close to people, um, I'm the social secretary in our Fakenham group and uh, I created... Um, a Facebook um, group just for um, the the people that I'd got to know in Fakenham and then they'd add people and add people and add people and we've all become like really close with some people that I probably hadn't really had the time to talk to before and every now and then not sort of every week I just touch base with them say hi how are you all doing how are you getting on with the video tutorials um, are you able to join zoom tonight and just because there's a few old there's a few older people in there that do struggle with the technology side of things so sometimes I've been just talking them through how to do it and all that kind of thing as well and I just can't wait to get back to see them because I just feel like I want to give them a big hug. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely to hear that you're looking after fellow Rockies as well. I was going to ask you all um, if you've kept in touch with Rockies yeah. online as well. And yeah. it's all been probably on yeah. social media, I suppose. But that's so yeah. touching to hear mm. that you've been looking after everyone and, yeah, looking out for each other. That's what we're all about, us Rockies, aren't we? And we've kept yeah. this community going. Yes. What has been your greatest achievement during lockdown? Well, uh, I it's not just my achievement, but it's the choir's achievement. Um, Krisha um, sent through the information regarding the Alzheimer's um, cupcake challenge. So as a choir, I, I suggested that we could do something and I ended up baking 40 cupcakes, three big <laughs> And um, we raised over four hundred pounds as a group. Um, well done! Yeah. Yeah. challenge and guess the height of the tower, and everybody all together. Everybody donated. Everybody took part. Some people dropped round. Mind, I had an open garden and socially distanced. And throughout the day, various people dropped round, and it was amazing. So yeah, mm -hmm. group. Gosh, the stuff it's we've been up to, hey? Yeah, <laughs> little cupcakes for them to take home as prizes. So. Wow. Um, has anyone um, got a memory in their heads of something that's made them laugh uh, the most during lockdown? Um, so Adam said that we would do a video for We Are The Champions and we did a sensible video in our uniforms and then we did a dress up video. Um, <laughs> so uh, moustaches were optional. I actually really loved having a moustache and I do a quiz with my friends. I was doing a quiz with my friends straight after. I kept it for the entire quiz. <laughs> my friends didn't know what was going on, but it was absolutely fantastic. Question, I'm getting quite philosophical now, but um, if you're okay to open up now, tell me something about lockdown that you never want to forget. Um, I think learning to kind of take some to slow everything down and take some time for myself well, thank you from all of you guys from the eastern region for joining in with this call i hope everyone out there you out there watching this are really enjoying it um and thank you so much to you guys on the screen thank you it's been lovely chatting with you and rather emotional as well but thank you for enlightening me with your stories about your experience of lockdown and uh, i'm sure we'll all meet up soon when it's safe fingers crossed we can do another regional event soon but Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Enjoy your time.